Hey guys, Patrice here with another video. This time it is a haul video actually, is Vanna Blue. Um, she, I, I didn't order much from her in the fall. I really wanted to, but I was trying to make cuts. Um, I just really didn't, I, I just have too much wax, so it was what it was, and I just wanted to save some. Anyways, uh, she had some stuff on the website. She, uh, one weekend, she had a free shipping, and um, if you were in Canada, you get $10 off, and I'm like, no, nah, I still can hold out. And then I think it was the weekend after, it was my birthday weekend, and she had posted that it was 30% off. So this order, actually, it's like, I got like $60 off Canadian. Like, that's a lot. Like, anyway, so needless to say, I ordered. Um, I haven't smelled anything. I think there's a few things I've had here, but I just opened it up, and I wanted to wait. So, anyways, I got two stickers. One is a skull, and the other one is a black kitty with a hat saying happy Halloween. And... When I opened it up, I kind of looked for samples because that's what I, I just dig through and put them on the top. But I didn't see any samples, but I got a clamshell of clothespins, which is fresh, clean laundry. And I know I didn't order this because clothespins I don't normally like. So I'm assuming this whole clam was my sample, was a freebie. So... See, this one's not as bad. It's still very pungent to my nose. But this is definitely um, like more subtle. It doesn't have such a sharp tone to it. I still don't think I'd melt this on its own. I think I'll definitely mix um, some fruity or some citrus or something like that in it but this one is definitely much better than the other clothes pins um uh since i've smelled before so anyways we will get the this out of the way sorry i just i was gonna say the big thing but the big thing is actually on the bottom so this is this is still big this is a cutie pie in the scent raspberry pumpkin sugar donuts Raspberry sugar, sugar cookie, and pumpkin sugar donuts. I'm going to take this out and show you guys because this is so stinking cute. Look at that. I don't think she does multicolors. I don't really. Oh, it does. Look. So sweet. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm really only getting like a pumpkin sugar. I'm not getting much raspberry. But man, that's a good pumpkin donut scent. Probably one of the best I've smelled. It's, it, and the sugar cookie could add to it, so it's like an extra creaminess. But oh my goodness, that's good. I'm so glad I picked that up. Okay. Next one I have here is red plum caramel corn, which is caramel corn and red plum baklava. That's nice. That's um, uh, it's a it's a nice plum's very hit or miss for me, and I was kind of nervous about the red plum and the baklava, but this one's yeah, it's really nice. It's definitely caramel corn, but with just that act that added um, fruitiness. So the next one here is raspberry cream taffy, boardwalk taffy, and raspberry sugar. I don't think I've ever smelled boardwalk taffy on its own. Oh, that's very nice, like very body care. So definitely getting a lot of that raspberry sugar. Yeah, that's it's definitely body care. It's not bakery or anything. That is 100% body care, and I would wear that if I had that. Um, okay, next we'll go with... I overbought guys but it was such a good deal uh next we'll go with um ooh, souffle sorry my brain i just got home from work so this is pink elephant gift exchange um sugar cookies vanilla ice cream sugar strawberries and candy canes i 
definitely get look how pretty that is guys it's so i don't i I don't need a ton of decoration. I don't need a ton of colors. I don't need all that stuff. It's pretty, but something just simple like pastel with just a little tiny added, it's beautiful. I think pastel is gonna be my favorite color for wax. Definitely get like a candy cane, uh, strawberry kind of creaminess. Yeah, it's really, that's really nice. I, I'm, again, I'm, you guys know, I keep saying it. I'm not a mint person, but when it's mixed with bakery or something and it's not like bam in your face, pe peppermint or spearmint, it's really nice. So this is Halloween, Mac Apple Cake, Marshmallow Fireside and Vanilla B Noel. Yeah. You get the Mac Apple. Oh, that's what it looks like. Sorry. Definitely getting like Mac Apple Marshmallow. I'm not getting much of the Marshmallow Fireside. I'm getting like a more of a marshmallow. I'm not getting much vanilla bean, but it is a beautiful Mac Apple bakery scent. Really good. Next is Pumpkin Latte with Sprinkles. Pumpkin Pecan, Coffee, and Marshmallow Fluff. I think this was actually one I uh, before I didn't end up ordering I kind of put some suggestions out there so I'm kind of glad there was some of this left oh, dropping stuff that's what it looks like definitely getting the pumpkin pecan with some coffee but there's a creaminess from uh, the marshmallow yeah it's a really I don't know if it's pumpkin pecan waffles that's what it smells like, pumpkin pecan waffles and coffee with a little bit of added creaminess. I love coffee, I love pumpkin pecan waffles, so that's a good one. Next is Queen Grimhild? Grimma? I don't know. Sugar marshmallows and caramel apples. I don't know how to say it. It's too, too out of there, I think. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. Definitely get caramel apples because that's a dominant note. But you do, it's almost kind of reminds me of um, a cider lane. With just a little bit more sweetness. Like, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like cider lane, but if you added something really, like, just like a sugar note to it, that's what that smells like it's really good i love cider lane the next is cronuts cinnamon sugar baked crust buttery mixed batter agave syrup powder sugar and vanilla bean i don't know if this is a single single oil or not yeah definitely get like a buttery deep fried pastry yeah, there's not much to say. It's it's mouth watering. Like my mouth is literally watering. It's a deep fried pastry. It smells like a cronut. It's amazing. And the last two filet I have is Cindy Lou Who. Pink sugar, cotton candy frosting, candy canes, fluffy marshmallows, and sugar cookies. I'm trying to like mint, you guys. I'm trying to love it. This is nice. I think I like Pink Elephant and, uh, Gift Exchange a little bit more than this one. And it's got nothing to actually do with the candy canes. It's, it's a cotton candy frosting. Um, sometimes I just don't care for it in certain blends. I'm still going to melt it. It's still nice. I think I just prefer the other one. It's just all I get is candy canes and ca cotton candy frosting. Still good. I'm still gonna melt it. It's not one that I'm like, oh no, please no. Um next we will do um bitty loaves, I think she calls them. Okay. So the first one I have here is Vixen. Waffle cone, huckleberries, creamy vanilla, confectioner sugar, and fresh coconut. 
And I have to say, this is like probably the nicest this box has, like, not that Amy packs terribly. She packs awesome. But between wherever she is to me, like, they kind of get, like, beat up a little bit. And these are all, like, immaculate. So, fix it. Yeah, that's good. Definitely getting like a waffle cone with coconut, but you get that blackberry and the huck and uh, or not blackberry, huckleberry. It smells like blackberry to my nose. Yeah, that's really, it's like a coconut, blackberry, waffle cone scent. I like it. Next is autumn snacks. Candy corn, pretzel, and Rice Krispie treats. Oh, yum. Get that pretzel, but it's like, it's not a yeasty pretzel. It's like the hard pretzels. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like for me, when a, when a scent is super yeasty because of pretzel, I think of like the big soft pretzels. But this one to my nose smells like a hard pretzel you're eating. Yeah, and then you get that Rice crispy and wow, I, I, not that I thought that this blend wasn't going to be special, but really if you, candy corn's not a strong note, pretzel can go any way, and Rice crispy treats aren't exactly the strongest note. This is amazing. This has, is one of my favorites. Uh, this is spice, or spiked and spice, spiked eggnog, fluffy marshmallow, and spice cake. Mm, yeah, it smells like eggnog, um, but like a cake, with a cake. Yeah, it's kind of like you made um, an eggnog, or uh, a whip, or icing with eggnog in it, and then you have your spice cake below. It's a little heavier on the spice than what I would like, but it that doesn't mean anything on cold, so... Next is raspberry peach sugar crisp. Raspberry sugar, just peachy, and pizzelle. So you're definitely getting that just peachy. Maybe a little bit of the raspberry sugar. Not much of that pizzelle. I like it any. I, I love the smell of peach. I really come around to it this year, so it doesn't bother me. Next is peanut butter, zucchini cake, peanut butter cookies, zucchini bread, and birthday cake. I had this one before. I really like it. Yeah, just smells like peanut butter and uh, zucchini bread and birthday cake. It's a little drier of a peanut butter smell than some of the other vendors, but I still like it. Again, if that makes sense. Maybe my descriptions are weird, but... The next one is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, Marshmallow Fluff, Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. I've had this one. I think I have it in a clam. Yeah, it just smells like a Boardwalk, like a Vanilla Cone. I really like it. It's really nice. I need it more. So, And this is another one that I've had. Um, apple Candy Kettle Corn, Kettle Corn, Cotton Candy, Mac Apple. This is one of my favorites too. You definitely get that Mac apple, but you get the creaminess from the cotton candy and kettle corn, if that makes sense. Mm, it's amazing. That's a that's a really good one. I definitely, I have that one and I want to pick up another one. So the last of the Bitty Lows is cinnamon brown sugar porridge. Oatmeal brown sugar and cinnamon dough in it. This is another one that I uh, requested, so. Yeah, you definitely get that, like, toastiness from the oatmeal. You get some of that sugar donut. Yeah, that's good. Really like that one, too. So, And the last thing I have in here is I've had my eye on this for a while. And, uh... I didn't, I didn't get it, so, anyways, um, 
I actually bought the last one, so I'm super happy. So this is a loaf, ultimate fall coffee, pumpkin latte with sprinkles, which is pumpkin pecan coffee and marshmallow fluff, frosted ice cream coffee, and then jingle, jingle, jingle. I don't know the notes. Sometimes she puts them on the back, but this time she didn't. So anyways, fall coffee, let's try it. I'm gonna try to, so with these triple layer loads, if you've watched them, you know what she does. I just don't want, I wanna be able to get it in. Dang it. Ah. Looks like candy corn. So this would be the pumpkin, um, Latte with sprinkles. The middle is a frost ice cream cone, and this is jingle, jingle, jingle. So you can choose to melt it on its own or. So I'm getting a lot of like pumpkin pecan waffles and coffee. A little bit of creaminess in the center from, I think it's vanilla ice cream. But to me, it's mainly pumpkin pecan waffles and coffee, and I'm here for it. Oh, I put that in backwards. I think. I did. That one's really good. I'm really freaking glad I got that. I like I said, I was kind of like, I, I was I was being good, guys. I'm I've been proud of myself for not ordering stuff. I actually unfollowed a bunch of groups on Facebook. Um. Besides, like, my regular favorites, um, I think the only ones now that I follow are Ella After, um, Savannah Blue, Ebony Violet, Britta's and L3, and I don't, um, I believe, and I'm not even really planning on ordering from L3. I did sign up for her customs because I'm planning on doing a pretty significant order of her house blends, not really anything custom, but... Um, I, I really want to do like a, a pretty big order and then just that way I don't have to again, um, because her shipping is redonkulous and I get why she does it, but uh, so this met medium flat right here. I got all that Savannah blue charges $29.50 US still a lot. But not bad. I don't mind that. L3 charges 56 for the same box. And I think a large is 67, which works out to be about $80 Canadian. That's a lot. That's a lot. Especially like for me, I have, um, other vendors that are half price and then I can spend that extra money on wax. So again, my L3, I'm, I'm really just in the group to get my customs and then I'll probably end up leaving too because like I said, the, the, the shipping just, I love her wax and her prices are great, but it's just hard to choke down $80 Canadian for shipping. So... Um, but yeah, that's all I'm following now. Um, I did, I know a lot of vendors kind of like were tempting me to try, like I wanted to try super tarts, but again, her shipping is, I think you only get like 10, 10 clams in a padded envelope. And I think the padded envelope is like 26 bucks. No, thank you. <laughs> um, where else did I want to try? I, I know I want to try sassy girl. I know people are against her and I'm sorry. I just, I, I never ended up doing it. Um, I love Teddy bees, but she doesn't ship to Canada. Rose girls are hit and mess, but they don't even ship to Canada. Um, I wanted to try salt mountain, but her list is so limited, like 10 blends. And normally I would just, I think her shipping's 35. So I was going to get 10 souffles for $35 shipping. So anyways, little rant at the end, <laughs> not rant. Um, these vendors, I get that shipping's expensive. Um, I just really, really appreciate vendors like Savannah Blue that does flat rate 
to Canada because it just makes me want to order from her and support her and she has great wax. Um, but it's just very nice when you get a vendor that helps a Canadian out somewhat. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.